This is the dash that came in my 82 GMC crew cab. Uh, in just a minute I'll show you what this dash looks like after I recovered it. Um, I didn't take video along the way so it'll kind of be a slideshow that's narrated um, and then at the end I'll, I'll show you some more video of the covered dash. Um, this same dash style was used from uh, 73 all the way through 87 in the trucks and it went all the way up to 91 for the Suburbans, Blazers, and Crew Cabs. Here's the dash before I started doing anything. Um, pretty typical of these style trucks. Lots of cracks. Um, the, the speaker grills are toast. Lots of discoloration and just overall pretty, pretty terrible condition. Here you can see a before and after shot of the same crack. Um, the picture on the right shows the, the crack after I've cut away the uh, plastic or vinyl dash covering because when it cracks the dash covering flares up. If you didn't cut that off the, the new dash covering that you're going to put on it would be all lumpy so you got to cut that, those plastic edges off. Here you can see I've done that to the whole dash. Um, it takes a while. I use a X-Acto knife or a utility knife and it kind of cuts or breaks off. After you cut the plastic off of the crack, you need to take the foam out of the crack. Cut, cut the foam out with the utility knife. And that allows the, the new foam that we're going to spray in there to something to grab onto, some space to get into. The previous owner of my truck had already cut speaker holes in the lower doors, so I've decided to use those locations instead of the dash speaker locations. Um, I cut the, cut the foam grills out of the dash and scraped all the foam off, and then I welded in plates so that when I spray the foam on there, the foam wouldn't just go straight through the dash. Um, you could probably use uh, wood or cardboard to keep that from happening, but I was concerned with uh, a fire starting under the dash possibly. That's why I used the steel. After you've got the cracks all addressed, um, all cut out, and your speaker grills, however you want to do that, it's time to spray it with the spray foam. Um, I used the standard foam, not the high expanding. Uh, the stuff expands plenty with just a regular formula, but I uh, just put it down on the ground and sprayed, the, sprayed it in the cracks and then when it expands this is kind of what it looks like. After it's dried and cured and expanded the whole way um, then I started trimming it down to dash level with a uh, utility knife. Um, it comes out pretty easily, just takes a little while. Uh, after you get it down fairly close to the dash uh, then I used a sanding block with a drywall sanding screen to uh, take it down flush with the dash. Uh, it works, works real well. Here you can see the, the whole dash with the foam in there. Um, the larger areas had some big bubbles in the foam so I, I kinda stuck some foam in there after the fact. Here are the tools I used. Pretty, pretty easy. Uh, looks like 220 grit drywall sanding screen. This is the just a shot of the end of the fabric roll that I got from Hancock Fabrics. Um, Seven dollars a yard. I bought three yards, and that was enough to do two dashes. Um, you might be able to get away with two yards, but for only seven dollars per yard, I didn't want to come up short. Here you can see um, mocking up the fabric on the dash. Um, I did a lot of my cuts and sewing before I even got close to the glue. Um, so it was pretty well laid out before I started any gluing. This is the adhesive that I used. I bought it at Hancock Fabrics also. It was fairly expensive, like 12 or 15 dollars, but it works really well. Uh, you spray it on the dash and the fabric and after you wait 15 to 30 seconds and stick them together they're not going to come apart. It's, it works really well. Here's the finished product. I just finished it last night. Um, you can see the 
suede like material that uh, kind of sort of changes colors when you when you brush it kind of like suede uh, it's got a grain to it so it kind of hides surface imperfections um, bumps and stuff that I didn't get perfectly flat on the dash you can see that the the middle trim piece here does a good job of holding the fabric down here and it, it looks real clean um, the hardest parts to figure out are the this area right here we've got multiple angles uh, you can see mine didn't turn out perfectly it's a little bit loose here I could have could have used a little more glue in there but it didn't happen um, these edges around the around the gauge cluster are difficult to to get done uh, this is my first time doing any project like this so you might be able to expect similar results if if you've never done something like this before either here's the top of the top of the dash um, you can do one full piece all the way across um, I screwed up with the glue it kind of got set down before I was actually ready and so it introduced some of these you know kind of minor wrinkles um, you, you can avoid that um, I just I just messed up here are the uh, defrost vents um, they'll they'll sit in here like this after I paint them I'm gonna paint them first um, so that'll take care of some of those some of those jagged edges of the fabric in there um, the the VIN cut out just a little little bit less precise than I would have liked it's uh, it's a little bit different because you, you gotta stretch the material a little bit but uh, not too bad not too bad the end caps are, are challenging too because you've got multiple angles again and this turned out less than perfect but not too bad just uh, cut down here and here and then obviously glued on here you can see the uh, the dash where it, where it meets the the gauge cluster panel in here um, you can tuck the fabric up underneath here that helps some um, and it's it's pretty easy to glue around these areas the corners here are real tough um, so are the the ends here um, again less than less than stellar but you know a lot better than it was here's the underside of the dash um, it's it's easy to wrap the fabric around and, and glue it here it sticks sticks well um, sticks well up here it's it's not very hard to do 